Early Saturday morning, many visitors, both local and from out of town, have formed a long line outside of the British Embassy. There are many tents inside for different activities. The staff members have arranged to take us directly to the Rose Garden. Following the curvy paths and stairs, we suddenly see a big open field. This tall, classic building is the residence of the British Ambassador. And staff and the family moved in in 1930. The Ambassador's residence is the only building in the United States by renowned architect Sir Edwin Lutens. Many different types of roses are blooming in the garden. This is the famous Rose Garden. Lady Lindsay was responsible for the plantings. Of course, the gardener from the UK tells us that although the climate in Washington is not the best for roses, many roses we see today have a history of 30 to 40 years. There are absolutely no chemicals or pesticides used in the garden. All roses are nurtured and maintained in a natural way. When we appreciate nature and traditions, we also think about the noble styles of European aristocrats. The Rose Garden has more than just roses. It also has many plants and flowers from the UK. In this quiet and elegant garden, you get the urge to sit down and enjoy a cup of British-style afternoon tea. What is this? It's a British-style phone booth. This old-style phone booth is still quite common in the UK, but it is rare in the United States, and there is indeed a public phone inside. Stepping out of the Rose Garden, we see the wedding picture of Prince William and Kate Middleton. This is a recent celebration in the UK. The British Embassy hosted a big reception on the same day as the wedding and did a lot of public relations. This um, is a replica of the uh, seated dinner. This table follows the same setup as the table at the wedding reception. To satisfy our curiosity, embassy staff members showed us the real invitation card and menu from the wedding reception. Look, who's this? This is a noblewoman showcasing the traditional Victorian fashion to visitors. By the tents, we're lucky to meet Sir Nigel Scheinwald, Her Majesty's Ambassador to the United States. This is the, uh, the day when all the European embassies throw open their doors, and the British Embassy throws open its doors to thousands of people, Americans and people from all around the world, including, I hope, a lot of people from China, who are interested in visiting each embassy, and they'll get a very distinctive view of Britain. Britain's been in the news all around the world in the last week because of the royal wedding. We squeeze into the crowd to see what they're looking at. It is the introduction of tourism in the UK. Here is another staff member at the embassy. I work at the British Embassy for the military attaché. Do you like what you see? Next time, we will visit the embassies of Italy and Austria to experience a different kind of European style.